Hi, it's Charity Lowe here with DaVinci Eye, and today I am going to be using breakdown mode with the cutout option off, and I am only going to be using a regular HB pencil with an eraser at the end and uh, just a regular eraser. So let's get started. So I'm going to draw and I'm going to select the image that I want to draw from and I'm going to choose the mode that I want to use and that's going to be classic mode. I am going to make sure everything is lined up. So I'm going to move the photograph to adjust it to the page and then make sure that's turned off when I'm done. Now I'm going to break down mode and I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to be adjusting the settings to my preferences. You can choose as many steps as you'd like. I'm going to do five. And then I'm going to turn off cutout and press done. Now what this is going to allow you to do is create layers with shadowing. The area will get smaller and smaller as you get darker and darker. So using the side of the pencil, I'm going to draw in circular motions very softly to create the first layer. So I'm turning down the opacity because I'm finding it hard to see where I'm drawing. I zoomed in so that I can get more of a precise shadowing. Now I'm going to press the second button and this is for the second layer. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be drawing in a different direction than I did the first one. Also in circular motions using the edge of the pencil and I'm also putting a little more pressure than I did for the first layer. Now time for step three. I'm going to draw in a different direction than the last two, also creating more pressure than the last layer. You want to gradually add more pressure because if you put too much pressure on first, then you're not going to be able to get any darker than that. Now it's time for the final step. Drawing in a different direction than the last steps. And this point I am going to be putting as much pressure on there as I can without denting the paper. Now I'm going to be taking my tissue and I'm going to blend it out. I noticed that some of the graphite was being picked up as I was doing this step. That's because of the quality of the pencil that I'm using. So when you're blending, try not to use as much pressure. Now I'm going to turn off breakdown mode, turn it back on, and I am going to be increasing the steps and the exposure. This way I can get my very darkest darks. So I'm going to go to the last step here. 
And I'm going to really fill in that space, making it as dark as I possibly can. I'm gonna turn off breakdown mode and turn it back on and decrease the exposure. Because the cutout mode is off, the white spots are going to be the places that are not colored red. I'm turning off breakdown mode and increasing the opacity and going into strobe. Turning that on and now I can see the difference between my drawing and the original image and I'm going to do my best to make them look identical. Just working on building up the shadows. I was attempting to blend out the pencil stroke so it's nice and smooth, but it ended up picking up quite a bit of the graphite off the paper, which made me a little frustrated. So instead, I really focused on trying to make circular motions while I was drawing so that it would give a smoother texture, only blending it very lightly as I go. I was using the pencil's eraser to define the highlights on the sphere. Just the process of repeating the drawing, the blending, the erasing until it gets to the point where you're satisfied. Now, this is about the end of my video, so if you have any general questions about the app, you can email the creators at info at davinciiapp.com, or if you have any questions or have requests for future videos, you can contact me directly at Charity Lowe's Art on Facebook and Instagram. I hope this video was useful, and I can't wait to see you guys again soon.